gladiator Dr. Theo Peters straight to the scene. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the most serious injuries sustained on and off screen for the TV show Gladiators through its several iterations. We won't be examining incidents involving the contestants, just the gladiators. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 10. Ella May Rayner, Comet The 2024 revival of Gladiators got off to a rough start for Ella May Rayner. Under the name of Comet, she was set to climb a 30-foot wall in under a minute for an episode filmed in 2023. However, Rayner ended up suffering a litany of injuries, including fracturing her ankle and foot in several places, rupturing three ligaments, a dislocation and sustaining a Lisfranc injury. As a result, the competitive gymnast had to withdraw from the show for surgery, physiotherapy and healing. Unsurprisingly, the accident wasn't aired. Rayner has spoken positively about the show's medical team to get her back as Comet. Number 9. Michael Van Wyck, Wolf Every show needs a villain to root against and occasionally side with. The original Gladiators had this perfectly with Michael Van Wyck as Wolf. He broke rules, was disrespectful to everyone and was mean. Wolf was the best. Yet the long-running Gladiator had been carrying a back injury he sustained on the show for two decades. The Pyramid event had contestants running up the structure as multiple gladiators were there to stop them from reaching the top. So Wesley and Wolf comes tumbling down with Shane in his claws. When Wolf took part in the famous event, he landed awkwardly during it, causing him to need regular chiropractor appointments to this day. Number 8. Michael Ahern, Warrior the Atlas Spheres event was brutal. Contestants and gladiators were placed in caged balls. The contestants had to run to point scoring areas as the gladiators blocked their path. All that metal and high impact crashing was a recipe for injury, just as Michael Ahern, as Warrior, discovered. Warrior closing lead down. When taking part, he turned rapidly. Ahern heard a loud noise and instantly believed something had broken in his leg. Instead, the force he used and the change of direction caused him to dislocate his kneecap, damaging the joint as well. Ahern's professional athletic career came to an abrupt end after working with gangsters and later owning prohibited items that resulted in stints in prison. Number 7. Shelley McCoy, Sabre In a short amount of time into filming the 2024 revival series, not one but two gladiators exited the show with serious injuries. After Comet, the second was Shelley McCoy as Saber. Seemingly, the dreaded gladiator's injury curse from the 90s was working again. During filming, the weightlifting champion felt her hamstring pop. It was discovered that McCoy had torn her hamstring and needed crutches to get around. Thanks to the work of physios, she was able to return to high-intensity training after five months of rehabilitation. McCoy still has some more recovery to go until she's back to the level she was at before the injury and working as Saber again. Number 6. Judy Simpson, Nightshade In 1995, Judy Simpson, the former medal-winning British heptathlete, was the gladiator known as Nightshade. During Series 4, she battled contestant Jenny Waite in the Tilt event, where competitors play tug-of-war on platforms, attempting to pull the other to the mats below. Way all she's got her! Great pull from Nightshade, tilts her forward and wheels her in, the Nightshade exits backwards. After Simpson dragged Waite from the platform, she lost her balance and fell backwards, landing back first on the mats. Immediately, she was in distress, causing the medical team to arrive and take her away on a stretcher. It looks to be a neck injury. We can only hope it's not as serious as it seems. Simpson eventually recovered and returned. However, when she appeared in Australia for the spin-off show Gladiators The Ashes in 1996, Simpson picked up a virus that forced her to retire from the show. Number 5. Michael Wilson, Cobra High-intensity sports can ravage the body later on. He's going to be pursued by Cobra! 
and Michael Wilson, better known as Cobra, didn't help himself during the initial run of Gladiators. He's admitted that a lot of the time he was competing, he was drunk. This likely made Wilson more reckless. In interviews, he's spoken about the constant pain he's in from a string of injuries over the years, exasperated by his recent workouts. Among many issues, Wilson has torn muscles, needed a tendon transplant in his shoulder, a ruptured bicep, nerve damage, and has had two hip replacements. In 2019, he was rushed to hospital to be treated for pneumonia and other issues. While he got better, the illness left him with scarred lungs. Number 4. Kate Staples – Zodiac Beyond her role as Zodiac on the Gladiator series, Kate Staples was also a record-breaking pole vaulter, but her life nearly ended when she was training on the pole axe in 1996. In this event, competitors had to climb a rotating pole that had pegs. When Staples reached the top, she was encouraged to jump from it by the show's producers. However, when she did, the lack of safety features caused her to land awkwardly, fracturing her neck in two places. Zodiac, a pole vaulter. This was the end of her athletic and gladiator's careers. The pole axe event was withdrawn from the show, but later brought back with a harness. Staples issued a lawsuit against the producers and reached a settlement with them. Number 3. Sharon Davies, Amazon They're going to be facing Amazon and Jet! Before becoming a controversial political commentator, Sharon Davies was a medal-winning competitive swimmer who later donned the Amazon persona for Gladiators. In 1995, for Series 4, she was involved in the Pyramid event. However, after pushing a contestant, both fell from the structure and landed on the mats. Amazon struggling to keep tabs on Mandy, just manages to drag her back down again. Oh, Jet says that's Sonia as well. Unfortunately, the contestant landed awkwardly on Davies' knee. It later turned out she had torn each ligament in the joint, causing her to need nine operations over the years. You took a hefty knock there on the leg. What happened? Well, I think it's really just the way you fall, and she happened to fall on my leg when it was on the floor, so uh, my foot went one way, my knee went the other, but... It'll be all right. Davies claimed she tried to return, but had to wear a knee brace. However, the producers weren't keen on her doing this, so she left the show. Davies has claimed the creators were more focused on how the gladiators looked, rather than their athletic skills. Number 2. Helen O'Reilly, Panther Next up to tilt is Erica, and she's going to be against Panther! As far as visually, this might be one of the most wince-inducing injuries on the show. In 1994, for Series 3, bodybuilder Helen O'Reilly was on Gladiators under the pseudonym Panther as she competed in the dangerous tilt event against contestant Erica Rogerson. Seconds into the whistle, O'Reilly lost her footing but tried to continue. She was pulled from the platform, landing face first on the mat and bending her spine the wrong way. She's lost her footing. A nasty landing for Panther. Immediately, Rogerson checked on her before the medical staff arrived and took the athlete away on a stretcher. Panther being stretched off and obviously not anticipating this occurring. O'Reilly suffered serious back and neck injuries that took her five months to recover from. She returned to Gladiators briefly before retiring from the show in 1996. Number one, Diane Udale, Jet. Now you've been doing the pyramid for quite a long time now. Does it get any easier? Um. Fitness-wise, it's always the same. As long as you keep fit, it's always going to be a hard event. As part of a testing ground, gladiators used to put on live shows to see how different athletes and events get on with the crowd. In 1996, Diane Udale, also known as Jet, took part at the old Wembley Stadium in London. While competing in the Pyramid event, Udale rugby tackled a contestant and both crashed to the floor awkwardly, with Udale hyperextending her spine. Amazon again takes the plunge. Oh, a jet with a spectacular crash dive. As soon as she hit the floor, she heard a crack in her neck. Thankfully, she was okay. Udale was taken to the hospital and put in a neck brace to help with the compression injury. This scary incident forced the former gymnast to re-evaluate. As such, Udale retired from gladiators and later trained in psychotherapy. What other British cult classics from the 90s would you like to see have a reboot today? Scrap Heap Challenge, The Royal Family, The Vicar of Dibley, or something else? Let us know below. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.